All right, guys, so just a quick follow-up to uh, the last video I did on uh, this uh, top end failure, or actually bottom end and rod failure. Kind of a little explanation of, of what I've seen or what I've learned on uh, on why the the rod bearings are failing over time. Um, definitely not as quick as some of the Honda stuff out there, but... Uh, Basically, from, from what I've seen is uh, this this rod has uh, no bushing in it. And you can see the discoloration, how that's all, all blued from heat. And on this side, let's see. On this side, you can see the... Uh, the galling that's taken place between the uh, the wrist pin and the wrist pin and the rod. So, in my opinion, it's not the uh, the big end of the rod that's fail that fails first. It's the small end, and this galling between the the small end of the rod and the the wrist pin and the piston is what's uh, causing additional stress to make the uh, the big end of the rod that bearing fail. So I have seen bikes with really low hours come in and have uh, have this type of wear. Not not to this extent, but have uh, have wear on the wrist pin. Um, I've seen some bikes with a ton of hours on them come in. 06, 07s, bikes that are already 10 years old and, uh, and not have a, uh, not have an issue with this, uh, this wrist pin. Um, I believe it's, uh, from, uh, lack of proper oil changes, kind of the simplest thing as well as, um, running them too hard for too long, uh, building a lot of heat up or turning a lot of RPM and staying at a sustained high RPM that builds a lot of heat. And then eventually uh, these two metals are uh, too close in, in hardness to, to each other and start having, uh, having problems. But that's my, uh, my thoughts or opinion on why we see that happening. It's not, I guess you would say it's a chronic failure, but... Uh, my thought on it is is these uh these rods are a wearable item and um regular uh intervals of maintenance need to be performed on these engines rebuilding them most guys think that this engine is built to last forever uh it's not um the bearing style is is not not set up for that for that long term normally if guys are going and buying a used bike and this uh, the engine hasn't been rebuilt, I the guys will ask me what I think of buying a bike that's uh, six, seven, eight years old. And I tell them if it hasn't been rebuilt, then plan on rebuilding it. And if it has been rebuilt, uh, most likely plan on rebuilding it because it's from from the quality of work that's out there that I that I see on a regular basis. Uh, most of the time, it's not good enough. You don't see uh, good enough quality of work in uh, in engines, and it's kind of scary even buying a used bike uh, from an unknown uh, unknown person who rebuilt it. I wouldn't give any additional value into that. But all right, that's it. Thanks. Bye.